Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to a new Let's Play. This is Let's Play Blossom Tales 2 The Minotaur Prince. The one or two of you who've been following this channel for long enough might remember that a few months ago I did a Let's Play of the original Blossom Tales. And I said that I was going to play this one eventually, but not right away. Well, this is eventually, as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, Blossom Tales 2, The Minotaur Prince. I've been looking forward to this one. I've mentioned it once or twice, but The Legend of Zelda is pretty much my favorite game series of all time, tied only by Dragon Quest. And Blossom Tales, being a Zelda-like, is definitely a good game in my books. The original Blossom Tales was pretty basic. It was, as I said at the time, a, an old-school, top-down Legend of Zelda game with the serial numbers filed off. And I've not played Blossom Tales 2 yet. This is my first playthrough of it. It's completely blind, except for about eh, 30 to 45 minutes that I played of the uh, opening of the game. And... So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Although I have to say, the sound is really low for me. I'm gonna have to check the video. Camera motion. Not even sure what that is. Okay. That actually let us remap the controls. Yeah, so I've played about, like I said, 30 to 45 minutes of this game. And they've done a little bit of revamping of the controls from compared to the first game. For one thing, you have the traditional Legend of Zelda roll ability. If I remember correctly, that was introduced in Ocarina of Time. That sounds about right. I don't believe it was in Link to the Past or Link's Awakening. I'm pretty sure Ocarina of Time started the role, but it's been in many Zelda games since then, and Blossom Tales has adapted it. rumble feature too. I didn't notice that last during my quick test play from a bit ago. But yeah, I am going into this game mostly blind, but I do know that it uses the same general storytelling style as the original. It's, you know, that old grandpa telling a story to his two grandchildren. So yeah, let's go right into it. Which save game do I want to use? My usual habit is to choose the bottommost save file when I start a game for the first time. And I'm not sure why, but for some reason I just feel like putting my save down here just keeps me better organized. And then if I want to replay the game, then I'll use one of the other save files. I'm 
I don't know why I feel that way, but I just do. Let's get started. And there's Grandpa sleeping at a campfire. Grandpa! And he wakes and his marshmallow goes into the flames. Grandpa, Lily broke my sword on purpose. It's just a dumb stick and it was an accident. You didn't even ask if you could borrow it. You were jelly. Nuh-uh, you just didn't want to share. You're selfish. Settle down, children, don't you know? Having a sibling is a special thing. You must learn to share and be nice to one another. Or, you know, just pick up another stick off the ground. You're kind of out in the forest there. You know, I have the perfect story for a night like this. But if you two can't behave, we can go to sleep instead. No, we'll be good. Yeah, we promise. Ho, ho, ho. Come and gather around. This tale is about the mischievous Minotaur King and his young prince. Sounds cool. Am I in the story again, Grandpa? Oh ho ho, you are, and guess what? Chris is Chris as well. About time. Our story begins on a special day for the people of Blossom. Does a sleepyhead king rule there, Grandpa? Or a grumpy wizard with a ginormous head? Okay, uh, King Orchid and Wizard Crocus from the first game. <laughs> no lords or castles here. <laughs> Only a small village and a girl named after a brave hero from very long ago. Yeah, so the general story here is that um, it's hundreds of years Boy, this music is quiet. Hold on just a second. Okay, hopefully that makes it easier for the viewers to hear. I increased the volume on my video capture. Anyway. So... Uh, the general story is that this game takes place hundreds of years after the other one. And when I saw this part, I was like, okay, that makes sense. Because I was wondering, you know, how is it that the famous Knight of the Rose, Lily, is still alive hundreds of years later? And it turns out, no, she's not. It's just that there's a new girl named Lily who's named after her. Which, that makes much more sense. Lily, Chris, rise and shine. <sighs> oh no, what time is it, Grandma? Did we miss it? Good morning, children. Don't worry, the Minotaur Moon Festival is just getting started. Yay, it's finally here. Woohoo! I bet you can't get more Minotaur coins than me, sis. See ya! I've never seen Chris this excited. Please take care of your brother out there, Lily. Sure. Bye, Grandma. Aren't you forgetting something, dear? Oh, my sword and shield. I've been waiting all year to use them for the festival. Thanks, Grandma. Love you. Well, if we open the equipment screen here. So we have the wood shield. And... My goodness, how nice it is to have the items named. I mean, look at that. The cursor is on top of the shield there, and then off to the right, it says Wood Shield. That was really irritating me in the first game. If you watch that Let's Play of it, you probably heard me complain more than once about how the game didn't name the items. And so, for a lot of them, I could no longer remember what they were called. Because, I phrased that badly. The game named the items, but the names were not here on the equipment screen. So, you know, for some things, like the shield, it was pretty clear what they were. But then, 
for example, you know, some medallion of something or other, I couldn't remember the name of it anymore because the equipment screen didn't say what the name was. And now the equipment screen says what the names are. Yay. That is so helpful. I just really, really hope that this extends to everything on the screen because you know the equipable items here in the top left that's all fine and well but what about the quest items that are in the bottom left now, I hope I can highlight those and see what the names are so I can block with the shield and then slash with the sword and there's a whole bunch of pickups, like that little mushroom. I'm assuming that was a mushroom. Might be some kind of weird flower, but it looked like a mushroom. And equipment, push the R bumper. Here we go. Yeah, oh yeah, here we go. Red mushroom and chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum. <clears throat> kind of tripped over that one there. So these are pickups that I use in recipes of various sorts, I think. I haven't gotten that far in the game. I didn't get very far in my test play, so I don't know. Tell Chris I said good luck too. I love you both so much. Yeah, this game does repeat something that I didn't like from the other one about how the uh, action command and the sword are on the same button. So sometimes I pick up stuff instead of slash them, and sometimes I slash people instead of talk to them. Don't stand around here. Head up to the festival. Oh, she keeps saying different stuff. Interesting. Don't tell Chris, but there's no way he'll get more Minotaur coins than you. It would be fun to just stand here and keep talking to her, but... We have a festival to get to. Birds, and I assume that's a squirrel that ran off in there. It looked kind of like a small dog. And that... What was that? Oh, I found a clover. And an apple. Okay. I was banned from the throwing game for hitting another player by accident. Oh, well, you should have been more careful, though. And there is a few ways out of this village. I did not leave the village during my test play, so I'm not sure what's out here. Ah, uh, okay. Lily wasn't ready to leave the town just yet. She was trying to collect five Minotaur coins to enter the tournament. Okay. So they don't let me leave. Fair enough. They also don't let me go in any of the houses. I wonder why the volume on the game is so quiet. When I was doing my test play, I could barely hear it. And here's the mayor. Hello, citizens of Blossomdale, and welcome to the Minotaur Moon Festival. Please enjoy our games. They commemorate the great Minotaur battle fought long ago. Today is the tournament honoring the heroes who fought against the dreaded Minotaur King. Those who wish to participate must bring me five Minotaur coins. Now then, let our special 500th Minotaur Moon Festival celebration commence. So I did get the five Minotaur coins in my test place. Not too difficult. Aw oh man, I think I dropped my only Minotaur coin somewhere. But Chris stole it, the little brat. The Apple's Bottom Shop. So they sell bottoms of apples? The tavern owner's mushroom soup is from an age-old recipe. <laughs> Hi, Lily. The fortune teller told me to ask later. What's up with that? My brother says the tournament winner gets to touch a sacred blade, but he always lies. For all we know, the Minotaur King was handsome and great singer. Probably not. I was 
Banned from throwing game, blah blah blah. Okay, lots of people hit another player by accident. Lots of bad throwers in this town. Okay, and someone else who dropped her Minotaur coin. The male guy smells weird, but he means well. The fortune teller said I'd fall in love soon. I wonder if she's single. I bet Minotaurs are just a fable. Like that sleepy king from long ago. Oh, they don't believe the sleeping king anymore. Got another chrysanthemum. Blossom Dale will always be home, but I'd love to explore the world outside someday. Another apple. Do you think you have what it takes to ring the bell on my strength tester? Let's see those muscles hit the lever with your most powerful strike. Hold your sword out for a moment to focus all your mighty warrior energy directly into your blade. Release your charged sword to perform a mighty spin attack. That was quite the powerful strike. This Minotaur coin is all yours. Got a Minotaur coin. Yay. Yeah, during my test play, I just went ahead and smacked the uh, strength tester without talking to the guy first. That was some interesting dialogue. Well, no, it wasn't really all that interesting. Just telling me what I figured out on my own. I've never actually seen anyone ring the bell before. Really? So I'm the first person to ever get a Minotaur coin from you? Interesting. Another apple and a pink flower of some kind. A tulip, okay. Oh, and if you go into the water, she walks with wet footprints for a while. That feature was in the uh, first game also. I'm pretty sure. It's a nice little detail, I think. Aw, oh, man. Okay. Another coin dropper. Some of us are going to the old graveyard later. Are you in or are you a chicken? Sounds like an adventure. And since I'm an adventurer, I need to do that. So, yeah, I'm in. Hello, Lily. How's your grandmother? I must say she's quite a woman. Oh, you want to enter the tournament? I believe you need four more Minotaur coins. Are you fast enough to collect my ten flags and bring them back to me before the time is up? Well, I learned in my test play that I am indeed fast enough to do that. Be sure to roll as often as you can. You can pick up some speed doing that. Press X to roll. Each roll you perform uses a little energy, so keep an eye on your energy bar. Also, be prepared to jump off a ledge. Press into the ledge to jump down. Ready? Set? Go! Ah, get up. Got it? Perfect. Wow, those little legs of yours sure can move. Your Minotaur coin, as promised. Got two of them now. All the shops and other houses are closed. But I can still break all the barrels. And get money for it. I wonder what's up with those squirrel thingamabobbers. Am I ever going to have to catch them? Or are they just there for background flavor? I guess we'll find out. Oh, what's this? Hello there, my game tests your skills wielding the noblest of weapons. Want to play? Yes. You must destroy all the dummies before the time is up. Good luck! Where's the timer?
Wow, you're quite the swordswoman. No one has beat the game as fast as you. You've rightfully earned this Minotaur coin. Huh. I don't remember doing that one in my test play, so it must be possible to get six coins. This is... That old confidence game where they put something under the pot and slide them around and you try to guess which pot it's under. And oftentimes it's a con because they did some sleight of hand so it's not under any of the pots. But this time it's a fair game. But not all that interesting. Wow, look at those beefy biceps. You definitely have what it takes to play my game. When a ball drops, throw it in the open basket. Want to try? Sure. It's actually pretty easy. It's kind of fun. These baskets have a very generous hitbox. That's something that annoyed me in the early game, about how things had a, a small and sometimes inconsistent hitbox. I hope that's not the case in this game. I've never seen such accuracy and strength. Have you ever thought about playing basketball? Take this Minotaur coin as your reward. So it turns out there are at least six Minotaur coins available. Another tulip. Okay. Where did I get the other one? Must be in here. No, this isn't it. Greetings, young one. Do you want a glimpse at what your future holds? Money? Glory? Death? Sure. Clear your mind as best you can and let us begin. Um, There is anger and regret, but also valor and heroism. I see extraordinary allies and tremendous foes. So you can choose what to ask her about. I think... During my test play, I asked allies. I wonder if I can go through this conversation tree multiple times or if I can only do it once. Foes? Long dormant stone beings, aquatic terrors, and more. Hmm, I'm also seeing ill-fated treasure secrets and monstrous friendships. How interesting. Treasure? Yes, beware those who value gold over cheer and song. Oh my, I also see ghastly enemies. Wait, is that the Minotaur Moon? Enemies? Both spectral and undead. Very spooky stuff, I'm afraid. There's no denying that a great adventure awaits you. Good luck! Hmm. All fortunes are final. Okay, I can only see it once. Huh. That's kind of disappointing, honestly. I would have liked to see the other... path. I wonder if that's going to influence the game at all. Okay, leave and go back in. Let's see if she changes. Nope. Okay, hmm. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Uh, sounds like one of my neighbors is drilling something on the wall. I hope that doesn't come through on the microphone. Congrats on winning your Minotaur coin. Thank you! Hey sis, did you see that? I got a Minotaur coin. Haha, <laughs> see ya! And he shoves her out of the way. Prove how well you can wield that sword, that shield. Hold your shield out and block some arrows. To win, block every arrow my dummy shoot at you. Want to play? Yes. This one's fairly easy. But it's good to get some shield practice. It is a skill. You did... Oh. <laughs> I was about to demonstrate <laughs> that if you slash with your sword, your shield goes down. You have to hold down the button to hold your shield up. But then, while you're holding down the button, you can still slash with your sword, 
but then your shield goes down, so you have to let go of the button and push it down again. And I slashed at the same instant he started talking, and also accidentally hit him with it. You did it! That was some fine blocking shield made, and this Minotaur coin belongs to you. Okay, so that's five. That's how many I needed. Just a reminder, the tournament will be starting soon. Come speak to me if you want to participate. Let's see if I can get the sixth coin. Hello, is your sight sharp enough to follow the cup hiding my Minotaur coin? Prove it, and the coin is yours. Want to play? Yeah, let's go for it. Okay, so it's under the middle one. Middle, left, 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 middle, left. That's it? Okay, left. That's a swift set of peepers you've got there. The coin is all yours. Six Minotaur coins, yeah. I believe that's all of them? I don't think there are any more. I'm pretty sure I've got all of them. Okay, yeah, I did this one. Starting point guard for the Blossomdale Tulips. Lily. Wait, what is your last name again? Mm, Blossom? Does she even have a last name? I'm not wagering another coin against you. I'm all out of dummies, sorry. They're hard work to make, you know. <laughs> now that makes sense. Okay, to be fair, not wagering another coin on me also makes sense. I won the first time after all. Never actually seen anyone ring the bell before. A warrior's shield is her most priceless piece of armor. I don't believe there are any more Minotaur coins anywhere. I think I got them all. The fortune teller asked me that. Four minutes later. Okay. Have I spoken to this guy yet? I bet Minotaur is just a fable like that. Okay. He doesn't say anything. This looks like a bombable rock. I don't know that it is, but back in the first game that's what those were. Got nine apples. Looks like that's all. Only the six coins. Which, eh, fair enough. One more than you actually need. My brother says the tournament winner gets to touch a sacred blade, but he always lies. Okay, let's check real fast. How many items do I have? Okay, I have the two red mushrooms, two chrysanthemums, one clover, nine apples, three tulips. Okay. Alright, well let's get the show on the road. Great, you've collected five minotaur coins. I've collected six. There is only one spot left, which means we can begin. Are you ready to enter the tournament? You bet I'm ready. Greetings everyone, it is time for the Minotaur Moon Tournament. Prepare for a grand battle, all in good fun to celebrate the Minotaur King's demise. The first match is between Lily and Kevin from our post office. I'm expecting... Really, Grandpa? The mail guy? What's he gonna do? Give you paper cuts with letters? How about an adventurous swordsman from a faraway land? Boring, it should be a fierce knight with a cool lance. Alright, alright, uh, uh, what were those choices again? The Jouster or the Swordsman? Yeah, let's go with the Lance. Round one, fighters ready? Begin! Easy. Okay, he still has a lot of health though. 
There we go. And the winner is Lily. What a fighting spirit. Lily's next opponent will be the legendary Sir Vigo Mondoya of... <laughs> Princess Bride reference. I still think Lily should fight the swordsman. If we didn't pick it last time, why would we pick it now? Lily should fight a hulking brute that throws rocks. Wait, who were they again? Hulking brute or swordsman? Now Chris got his way last time. Let's give Lily what she wants. Well, that's a big sword. Round two, fighters ready, begin! holding down the button again, but... Oh well. Lily wins again! My, where'd she learn to fight like that? For the final match, Lily's opponent will be... Chris the Crusher! Hey, you can't do that! Now, kids. It's too late. He's already there and ready to kick your butt. If you look at that, Lily's final opponent is none other, than, none other than her brother Chris. Get ready for a thrilling sibling brawl, folks. Final round. Fighters ready? Begin! Ow! That really hurt. Please wait, sn sis. Oh no, are you hurt? Sensing that her brother was hurt, Lily did the honorable thing and stopped her attack. She did so because even though siblings may fight, deep down they care for each other. But then Chris unleashed his sneak attack on his sister! No, you cheater! That's not fair, Grandpa! The crowd cheered for Chris, the tournament champion! Three cheers for Chris, the tournament champion! You're such a brat, Chris. Now, kids. Hey, it's just a story where I'm the champion. Nah, nah. Urgh, I wish... I wish the Minotaur King would come and take you away. <sighs> oh, Minotaur King. Oh, Minotaur King, wherever you may be, I wish you'd take my brother far away from me. And since she spoke it in rhyme... There you go. Ah, ha, ha. You're him, aren't you? You're the Minotaur King. I am. I should thank you for inviting the guest of honor. This is the Minotaur Moon Festival, after all. Where'd you take my brother? You know very well where he is. Far away, just as you wished. B but I didn't mean it. Please bring him back. What's said is said. So forget your brother. Take your sword and go play. Farewell, Blossomdale. Enjoy your festival while you still can. Ah ha ha! Give me back my brother! Now! <laughs> Dang, Grandpa. I've been kidnapped? That's sort of cool. So the Minotaur King stole Chris away. He did indeed. Far, far away, just like you said. Hmm. So he's working their fight into the story. Showing what consequences it might have. Lily? I feel terrible. Where is Chris? Wait! The Minotaur King took my brother, and it's all my fault. We all make mistakes, honey. You... I've got to save him. I don't care if the Minotaur King is powerful. This is all my fault, so I'll get stronger and defeat him. How do I even do that, though? Well, first thing you'll need is a better weapon, dear. You can find what you're looking for in the old graveyard north of town. Thanks, Grandma. Do you really think I can do it? I believe anyone can change the course of the future. Thanks, Grandma. I won't let you and Chris down. Good luck, Lily, and please be safe. If you ever need help, come back to me for advice. Show me your map. I'll mark the old graveyard for you. Okay, there we go. I'm sure you'll be able to get Chris back. One of your great ancestors is buried in the old graveyard north of town. That's interesting. 
Hmm. I wonder who that is. Is it the original Lily, perhaps? I mean, the story said that she's just named after the Knight of the Rose from the original Blossom Tales. But maybe she's actually descended from her? That would be pretty typical for this kind of fantasy game. Ah, missed him. I was going to try to put him to the sword, the little scoundrel, but he got away from me. Ah, the Minotaur King is real. Somebody hold me. What, do you fancy him? He's evil. Or at least I presume he is. He's the um, antagonist? And we have chickens now, too. The tavern's owner mushroom, the tavern owner's mushroom soup is from an age-old recipe. Hey, there's a cactus down here. Oh, look at that. Hidden under the table. I'm stealing your money. Ha ha ha. It's mine now. Another clover, okay. Now this is pretty much as far as I got in my little test play. I didn't want to go any further because I really did want this to be a blind playthrough, as blind as possible. I did explore the insides of all the houses and took everything I found, including this. But I didn't leave the town. Our blacksmith comes from a long line of smiths. He can make anything. Another little mushroom. Okay. Dare I test this out? I tried I tried uh, slashing it and that didn't do anything if I jump mm, no it's not letting me jump off the ledge hmm okay kind of disappointing that I couldn't do anything with that the apples bottom shop right this thing and this guy looks familiar, if you've played the first game. I got another tulip. Salutations, Wishmaker. I'm Stan, the famous traveling trader. I come from a long line of salespeople, but I want to bring back the art of trading. All this obsession with monetary units doesn't sit right with me, you know? Plus, coins are heavy. Do you know what else is heavy? That brand spanking new weight on your shoulders. Saving your brother from powerful hoofed wizards with horns doesn't sound easy, but you're in luck. As my great 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 grandpappy used to say, I've got what you need. Okay, so yeah, I can trade him the items that I've been finding to get his offerings. But I don't have enough clovers for the first one. I only have two, I need four. Are you ready for a trade? Uh, not letting me. Blossomdale will always be home, but I'd love to explore the world outside someday. Tavern owners. Okay. Some people actually comment, if the stories are true, your wish might spell the end of Blossomdale. Sorry, Lily. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so you might have just destroyed the town. Sorry to dump that on you. Our 
kids part of a minotaur's balanced diet? What? We're all thinking of it. <laughs> yeah. He ate your brother. He's been turned into pot roast and it's your fault. Okay, so there's stuff to buy here. Piece of heart for 250 gold. I would like to, but don't have enough gold. Or an energy crystal for 250 gold. Don't have enough gold. Or an empty bottle for 150. I have just enough. Yeah, do I really want it though? I guess I'm gonna need it eventually, so sure. Empty bottle. Yeah, I really like how this game actually labels stuff in that menu now. It's just so convenient. Our blacksmith comes from wrong, okay. You're not thinking of going after the Minotaur King, are you? He slapped you silly last time. Well, I'll show him what for. It'll take some doing, but I'll get it done. Boy, I just spent all my money and I already have 43 coins back. Almost 50 now. Okay, alchemy. Interesting. And since I have an empty bottle, I didn't find this during my test play. Huh. Well, I don't want to do this yet. I don't even have any recipes. Okay, just another message about the blacksmith. Up to 54 coins already. Lily, I've been trying to think of some way I could help you on your quest to rescue your brother. There is a very ancient weapon called a bow. It shoots pointy things called arrows. One of the villagers had it during the festival, so yes. I could build one if I had the materials. For some reason, I'm not getting shipments from Anchor Town. If you're over that way, maybe you could check things out. Okay, so that's a goal. Get to this place called Anchor Town, find out what's going on over there. Another clover. Okay, I need one more. There we go. As quickly said. Alright, give me that piece of heart. Ah, a sacred heart piece. If Lily finds three more of these, she'll become even stronger. Let's see what I have in here. A bottle of something. Okay. Looks like I need chrysanthemums. I'm guessing that's an orange. And the one on the right is a rose, maybe? Don't know. You sure picked a bad time to make that wish, Lily. Yeah, rub it in, why don't you? Post office. Help wanted. Ah, yes. The old letter delivery side quest. He has an owl. Okay. Oh, I can't get that coin. It's out of my reach. Ugh. Give me that coin, you. Ah. Hi, Lily. 
Oh, you saw the Help Wanted poster outside? The return of the Minotaur King has led to the prompt resignation of all my letter carriers. They're too scared to travel from town to town. Why, back in my day, there used to be a snow zone. Are you brave enough to deliver letters across the land? Maybe? I guess I understand your hesitation. Come back if you change your mind. So does that mean there isn't a snowy area in this game? Hmm. I see you're back. Changed your mind about the job, haven't you? Great. I'm going to start you off with a local delivery in town. Run this letter to Jeff. He lives in the northeast corner of town. Alright, let's take care of that. Got another apple. Your poor grandma, she must be worried sick about Chris. Keep rubbing it in. <laughs> I know, I did bad. You can s stop banging on about it. I'm going to fix it, I promise. Yeah, these letter recipients in this game have an icon floating over their head. That is a nice little quality of life improvement. Oh, another treasure chest. Lots of coins. I'm up to 115 coins. Oh my gosh, it's a letter from my brother. I can't wait to tell him about the Minotaur King. You sure picked a bad time. Okay, he's just saying the same thing now. Alright, we've given Jeff his letter. Everything just keeps respawning. Makes it very easy to farm stuff. Here, here are 10 gold coins, and you'll get another 10 per delivery. Only 10? In the last game, it was 50. You cheapskate. That's well above the average postal worker's pay rate, you know. This next item is a package that needs to be delivered to Joanne in the Emerald Jungles. She lives in a small house in the southwest corner of Anchortown. Okay, so I gotta go to Anchortown. And it has a different icon than the last one. Oh, yes, it does allow me to highlight the stuff down below. Package for Joanne in the southeast corner of Anchortown. That's what he said. I'm not going to remember that. I'm sure I will not remember that. I'll just have to get down to Anchortown and go around town looking for someone who has that icon over their heads. That package has to get to Joanne as soon as possible. She lives in a small house in Anchortown in the Emerald Jungles. Southeast corner, I'm pretty sure he said. Another clover. Okay, I was fresh out of those. All right. Another clover, perfect. And then this right here looks like a diggable spot to me. That's what they looked like back in Blossom Tales 1. So you know, it looks like I'm going to be finding a shovel sooner or later. I hope I remember that this is here, this diggable spot. I probably won't. Hello, Lily. How are you today? Says the barkeep. Are kids part of a Minotaur's balanced diet? Well, but we're all thinking it. Yeah, someone already said that, dude. Get a new line. You sure picked a bad time to make that wish. Yeah. Eat my sword! Our kids, okay, so he doesn't always say the same thing. There's a list of possible statements that generic villagers make. And they cycle through them. That Minotaur costume was... That Minotaur King costume was great! Best show ever! Now that's a new one. 
Hi, Lily. Gold coins. So his name is Rumple. I wonder where Stiltskin is. Bard. Hi, Lily. I'm just taking a break. And let's kill all these things down here to gather a few more items and coins. Looks like nothing but coins. That's fine with me. 181 coins. Let's kill all the chairs again. Okay. Got another tulip. The same button being both the action button and the sword button. That was annoying in the first game and it's even and it's just as annoying now. I wish they'd come up with a dedicated talk button. I mean there's there's a fair number of buttons that they're not using at all that I've seen so far at least. They use the four face buttons and the two bumper shoulder buttons. But they haven't used the uh, lower buttons, and they're not clicking the analog sticks. They could do something. Ah, well. Okay. We have to go north to the graveyard. I don't have a lot of time left, but let's see if we can make it. New stand? Well... Sky Wizard. Am I too late for the festival? It serves me right for trying to use this Dagnabbit thing. Where are my manners? Allow me to introduce myself. Grand Sky Wizard Cornelius the Blue. You're wearing purple, though. Eh, whatever. And this contraption is my most recent invention. A magic hot air balloon. Why magic? One can summon it from any of the balloon platforms I made across the kingdom. Sadly, I've just discovered I have a crippling fear of heights. It took me over seven hours to get here. Had to fly really low and real slow. I fear my beautiful balloon will never majestically take to the skies. Unless, perhaps it can be of use to you. When you find a platform, use it to call my magic balloon and fly to other platforms you've found. Okay, so this is the game's fast travel system. Before, it was just, you know, step on these convenient magic portal stones. Back in Blossom Tales 1, but here it's actual balloon platforms. Happy floating! Okay. Can I pick this up? I can! So we have tulips that just grow in the ground. Makes perfect sense. That means there ought to be mushrooms and other things also. Can I get whatever these are? Aha! Oh, I can only get one though. So I need to go north to the graveyard to get a better sword. Bombable rocks. Oh, there's a snake over there. Do I have to kill the poor snake? That's unfair. Snakes aren't bad. You know, they eat rodents and whatnot. Huh. Well, either way, I can't do anything there. Looks like it might just be the place, but the gate is shut tight. Am I going to have to find some way to unlock it? And it's getting 
subtly darker. Huh. Nope, I don't have to unlock it. It just opens right up. Find Lily's ancestors? Hmm. It's in here. Okay, these ghosts are going to be a serious pain in the backside. Unless and until I find some way to end them. to exercise them or something. Is this, I don't know, a torch? Honestly, this is kind of creepy. Not really powerfully creepy, but eh, some good lighting and ghosts who I cannot fight. Uh, who's this guy? Is this where I need to go to find the sword? Ugh, how long have I been here? I only sat down for a quick rest. I was trying to enter the catacombs when a bunch of wrathful specters attacked me. You're trying to get inside too, huh? It's not worth it, believe me. Uh, rather than bravado, let's go with this. Can't let Grand down. Someone's depending on you, huh? I admire your courage. It's dangerous to go alone. Use this lantern to fend off those spirits and brighten things up around here. I'm getting out of here before you wake up something truly horrifying. Probably a good idea. Torch. Eh? So it's already equipped the A button. Aha! I knew it. Oh, those specters are leaving him alone. WTF, guys. That's not fair. hold down the A button, kind of like how I do the shield. It uses up my energy bar. But, it also gets rid of the ghosts. Excellent. Okay. I think this is actually the place to end the video. Let's step inside so it'll autosave. Viewers, thank you very much for watching episode one of Let's Play Blossom Tales. In episode two, we will continue exploring this catacomb to see about finding a better sword. And then the adventure will truly begin. See you later.